if you want to make a face leap of your curator UI, you can, and I'll show you how, but you can go here and we'll click on this option, enable custom theme. You need to clear the cache. I'm doing in my Mac shift command R. And when you do, you're going to notice that the, that the fonts are uh, kind of more modern. It's a, it's a cleaner look. If we l go into the offenses, again, you're going to see this is a minor facelift. You see these icons are neater here. In the admin tab, there's significant difference. They come in the form of tiles. How, I mean, how do you enable these? Well, this is all about the latest version of the Analyst Custom Searches tool that my friend Julian Sattelmeyer uh, did. Um, and it's actually quite remarkable. So not only you can do that uh, initial facelift, but if you are good into CSS uh, and you want to make some modifications, you can go here on their its app. Um, here it is. Go on there here on the theme config, and you have this file that again, if you are good into Cascade style sheets, and you will obviously know what is in here. But even if you don't, let's say that, for example, I want to change that uh, primary button. Uh, before I do it, let me, uh, for example, go here. Uh, this this would be an example of the primary button in here. Uh, let me go back to that page. If I want to basically made that a red. I can just type the word red here. And notice that it, it comes highlighted. I click Submit. And when I clean the cache again, you'll, you should see that button changing from blue to red. Did I do it right? Shift R. And I go back to Look Activity. Yeah, you see that change. Let's say that you don't like that and you want to revert, and, and this is a good thing that uh, Julian did on this. You can always uh, do restore original theme and submit it. And uh, I, I will clean the cache again, but you get that you get the file in the original condition. And you can change anything in here. Again, if you are into CSS, uh, you will feel at home here. Let me. I don't like that red button there, so let me go back, reload my cache, and I put it back there. That is n the number one thing that you can add to your Curator, a little bit more. This has nothing to do with the dark mode that comes in one of the updates on Curator, which I have not installed yet. This is all about modifying and making the Curator UI fit the purpose. And by the way, this is specific to every user. So if I were to log in as another user, I will see this the, the standard way of doing things. So and you can always check this option, disable custom theme, and you reload the cache and you will be back where you were. But Julian added two other two more things in here. Let's go back it to the customization of his app. And I have done all the videos on this app and I'm not intending to reproduce those in here. In fact, if you go to my PDF, you know that the in the video description of all my videos, I put a link to a public box folder where you can find the latest version of this PDF. You see that there are two videos that I did on the analyst custom searches that he did. And I will be adding this third one after I'm done with this one. But one of the things that Julian uh, added a while back is that when you are looking at a specific log, wherever you are looking at it, let's take a look at this one in here. Uh, you have this AQL searcher, uh, search help, which, which is obviously there uh, as well. But when you open that incident, that particular log rather, you get the highlighter and the prettify payload. If you were to click this one, you get that option selected and if there's something that can be highlighted on the payload 
uh, it will show as well when you select that, that button. There's nothing uh, in this particular case that I can uh, prettify in his, using his term, right? Now, what Julian added is instead of you clicking on those things, he allowed you to, those that like this uh, application, you can now go into the customization option of his app and click here on Event Highlighter and you can select these two options to have those things executed automatically so you don't have to manually click on it. So if you like those two buttons you can add them here. And the, that's the second thing. The third thing is that you now have m new uh, AQL functions for uh, that that he's been added. You can actually enable those uh, automatically. Now that piece is a little bit more involved. However, the documentation that he provided so here in the app exchange, you go under here and you click view and you download his very extensive documentation page 22 onwards you get the explanation how you can actually add those AQL functions and how you can even execute them automatically when uh, looking at the, at the event. Very useful app to add to your Curator. It's a free app uh, and thanks Julian very much for contributing with this asset.